Welcome to the Ruckus IoT demonstration for education, solutions and applications. In this demonstration we'll show you how the Ruckus IoT suite can be used with our strategic partners products to develop a solution for vape and bullying detection. Using the SOTA Technologies FlySense platform and video components from our partners we're able to provide playback event mapping for instant clarification and person identification. So in our demonstration, we're going to be connecting a SOTA sensor to our wired network through our switch and into our IoT controller. Within the IoT controller, we have our rules engine and we're also using the SOTA plugin to connect the IoT controller to the SOTA cloud service. So as events happen within the building, we're able to forward the data through the IoT controller and into the SOTA cloud. We're also, as part of the process, able to intercept the data and monitor those within the rules engine and uh, make decisions and display information about the status of the sensor within our dashboard, within our rules engine, and then make decisions. As the rules engine is also connected to a local service for using a video management system from a number of our partners, we're able to associate that event to a video timestamp and specifically to a location where there is a camera. So now we're able to assign an event to a camera to a location and we're able to then play back the video of the event happening in real time or, or play back at a later date as required. The main interface into the rules engine is our dashboard IoT Insights. The IoT Insights dashboard provides us with an overview of what's going on within our building or within our IoT domain. So on our left hand side we have our device status. This gives us a real time view of each individual device, its current alarm status as well as all of its network, battery and uh, line quality information. Uh, and if it's an environmental device it will also give us any alarm status with regards to temperature, humidity, CO2. Uh, or any other sensor inputs that are coming from those devices. On the right hand side of the dashboard we also have a view that gives us a real-time insight into what is going on within events that have happened within the environment over the last period of time. So we have a real-time view of every single event that has been logged by the platform into the database. Uh, we also then have a real-time snapshot in the device log that shows us if there is a, a live open device uh, status or uh, an alarm that has been triggered somewhere within our building and the, a timestamp associated when that event happened. And then we have a, uh, an overview of that within our floor plan that shows us where that device is within the floor, within the building, its current status and the type of device that that is. Uh, on the bottom right hand corner we have our controls that allow us to manage and interface to our database, to our VMS and to our back end services. And then we have a general alarm panel on the bottom that is giving us an indication of battery level, tamper alarms, uh, loss of signal, RSSIs on a Zigbee level, as well as a general overview of the line quality uh, between the devices and the IoT controller. So in addition to the IoT platform, we are using a FlySense cloud service. So the IoT controller is pushing all of the data to the cloud service for FlySense. And here we get a view of all of the incidents that have happened over the last number of days as defined. So you can see a number of vape, sound incidents have all been logged. We can also then get an oversight and insight and look at it on an hourly basis, a daily basis or over the past week. So you can see the number of events that have happened over the last 48 hours and you can then break those down and see during the course of the day and which days were the worst during the course of the week. Additionally to that we can look at the device and we can configure the device from the cloud to connect to a Ruckus IoT controller. So here we set the settings for that device and we're able to then get a, a direct overview of either every device that's in our building or we can drop down granularly and just look at a specific device and uh, look at that device over a period of time as well. So as we look at our dashboard, we can see a floor plan and an overview of the building. And, and on the right hand side, we can see the current list of outstanding events that have happened. So as we monitor the system, you can actually see now a vape has been detected. And in this particular case, in the local bar restroom bathroom. And we're able to now get information about that event, about the status, the time. And uh, we're open, able to open the event now and view the event data. So we get the location of where that device was triggered. We get the timestamp of when the device and the event happened as well as a whole lot of information about that uh, event. We're able now to hit play and pull back the video in real time from the VMS of that event happening. So we can see the sensor on the wall behind me there and then we've uh, got a vape device that we're connecting to a bladder and we're able to pull air through the sensor and expel the vape 
uh, mist into the air and uh, can see clearly on the video who is who's triggered the event and the video is time stamped with the IOT controller so as I now shoot the uh, the mist into the air right next to the sensor the VMS has detected that and played with the I IOT controller the synchronization and uh, the alarm is indicated within the system so in real time now we're able to detect and monitor and provide real time insights into that event as it happened and provide information about who the person was and where the location happened. And once we've validated the event we're actually able to now go in and clear that alarm within the dashboard. So we, we can see the alarm is still open, we can hit a, a button and refresh that. Now in addition to vaping we can also do exactly the same functionality for uh, audio alarms. So the system can detect when a bullying alarm happens. So here we've just detected that a sound has been uh, triggered or a, th a sound threshold has been triggered. So again we can open the video, we can see the, the sensor, we can see the, uh, the microphone on the sensor and as I uh, induce some noise, I'm clapping very close to it in this particular case, and you'll see that immediately after a certain threshold and time has been exceeded you'll get a sound alarm notification there indicating that the uh, sensor and the cloud have now logged that a, 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 a bullying alarm has been detected, a threshold has been exceeded and that we can now uh, register that within the database. So again we're able to monitor the system, tie them all together and associate events with video, with time and uh, with devices. And again we're able to clear that device as needed. Well thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this short introductory video on how to use the Ruckus IoT controller and the IoT suite of solutions together with our partner, SOTA Technologies.